Hey everyone, Dankenstein here. If you guys didn't know, the next season of Battle Pass is right around the corner starting July 24th. And today we have news as to what the top tank reward is going to be, and it will be the Sholef V1. This is a rank 4 tank destroyer for Israel. I'm assuming somewhere between 6 and 7 BR. It's a little bit difficult to tell from this post, and it will be a little bit dependent on quite a few variables. So 6 to 7.0 BR is going to be my assumption. But anyways, this is a 155 millimeter gun carrying vehicle on a Merkava MBT chassis. So it will be pretty damn powerful. Now, basically, this will be like your standard artillery slash howitzer vehicle. So kind of like the M109, for example, except a little bit different in a few different ways. For example, this will actually have the same M107 shell from the M109 howitzer, which is pretty cool. However, it will also have two M401 shells with contact and radio fuses. So you will actually have a few different types of shells with this. Radio fuse is basically going to be a proximity fuse which should mean that this will be a really nice vehicle to take out helicopters and of course also vehicles that might be behind cover. Additionally, just based on the pictures here, it looks like this thing is relatively loaded up with MGs. You have at least two LMGs up top. There might be one mounted coax, I doubt it, but for a howitzer type vehicle, even having two LMGs is pretty damn impressive. Now, insofar as the reloading system is concerned, this will essentially be an auto loader in game. They do say it's got two mechanized drum style ammo racks that will be modeled as an auto loader in game. So this will have five rounds per minute rate of fire, which is basically one shot every 12 seconds, which isn't all that great, but this also could be a very powerful shell. Now, as you guys probably know, HE shells, they're not really dependent on how fast they get thrown out of the barrel. Rather, the size of the barrel, if it's longer, will typically mean that it has greater muzzle velocity, which means that it's got a flatter firing trajectory, which also in turn means that this will be easier to fire at ranges. This honestly looks like a really long barrel. So I would not be surprised if this had a muzzle velocity that is fairly high. So typically I think the M109s are somewhere between six and 700 meters per second muzzle velocity, depending on the variant, of course. This one I could see being well in excess of 700, which if that's the case, you'll probably see it's BR, probably be something like 6.7, but you never know. Now, as I said before, again, this does have the Merkava Mark I chassis as kind of its base. Now, bear in mind, this is a modified chassis, which I would assume means that it will have reduced armor compared to the Merkava. But as you guys probably know, Merkavas are among the best armored vehicles relative to their own BRs pretty much throughout the upper end of War Thunder. So I have no doubt that this is going to be a relatively well armored vehicle, at least insofar as its chassis is concerned. It is basically implying, however, that the turret will be fairly weakly armored, kind of like most howitzer or artillery based vehicles. So I'm not really surprised there. But so long as that chassis is fairly powerful, insofar as its armor is concerned, I actually have a lot of hope for this thing. Like I said, I could see this thing being like 6.7 to 7.0 OBR. It really depends on quite a few factors like the muzzle velocity, how good its ammo choices are, how fast it is, the armor on the Merkava. I'm not entirely sure how thin it will be relative to the standard Merkava. So we'll have to wait and see. But that said, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. I actually think that this is a pretty cool vehicle, kind of like how the PBM-5A Mariner is in much the same way. Relative to our most recent Battle Pass offerings, to be honest with you, these are fairly unique. A lot of the time we had purely copy-paste vehicles, it doesn't really feel like that this time. So this is pretty cool. I mean, it's not like these are totally prototype or unique vehicles, but still really, really cool, at least in my opinion. But again, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. By the way, thanks so much for watching. If you don't mind, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing. But either way, thanks again. And I'll see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.